He is a two-time Super Bowl champ. He is as revered as any giant out there. He's part of the broadcast team. There's no way this happens. This guy's happy with what's going down. This is nonsense. Carl Banks back here on the fan. Carl, what's going on, buddy? How are you? Good, good afternoon, man. Dude, what are we doing here, man? Honestly, what what are we doing here? What's going um, on? It is as bad as you guys have said. You know, the, the interesting thing, before we can even get into, like, the dynamics of of what has happened. I think when you looked at the attendance in the stands yesterday, there is clearly fan apathy, right? Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, I talked about, you know, a kid, somebody that was a kid 10 years ago when the Giants won a Super Bowl, they're 20 or in their 20s now, and they haven't seen winning. And my biggest fear for this franchise, if they don't get this thing going and show that stability that you were talking about, uh, uh, Tierney, it's going to be fan atrophy. Like mm. that fan muscle Ooh. is going to atrophy because we're dealing with a generation of kids that are not necessarily loyal like their parents and their older siblings. This is... You know, this is fantasy football generation where they can skip from whatever's hot and go to the next one. That's a good you, point. You understand what I'm that's saying? A so, that's a great point. That's a great point, you, you've got, So wow. that that fan atrophy is real. The apathy, I think they can, they can kind of get some people back in the stands. But, like, if you lose this generation of 20-somethings, that muscle ain't coming back. They're going to be rooting for another team. Yeah, what ha what happens Whoa. next year? Obviously, it seems like Joe Judge is going to still be here. Um, you know, after Dave Gettleman announces his retirement, they're having a meeting with John Mayer and Joe Judge, I guess, in a, in a few minutes here or so. But but how does he make this thing better from from our perspective? Forget what happened. Forget the locker room. But how can Joe Judge speak to us in a way that makes us say, all right, now I kind of believe that he can get it done. I don't want to hear. It. The thing is, you don't want to hear about it. You want to see it. Yeah. I want to see, and this has been, you know, for, for whatever I, my, the support I lended to him a few weeks ago, I need to see a effing plan. Mm. Like, give me a, give me something that looks like an offense that entered the 21st century. <laughs> right. I got why he went with the victory formation. I got the thinking, but I don't get that formation. And it just tells me that he is not exercising oversight in this offense and that's that's the one thing i got to hear from him what is my offensive what is your offensive plan and what type of oversight are you going to exercise in-game veto power because he talks about it he knows it, he can explain it to you and he believes it but then on game day you let a guy come out in victory formation it's third and nine yeah tiki you understand offense and when your offense you can't trust your quarterback you say, okay, let's just rely on our defense that's playing well and our special teams. They've been very complimentary this game. Yeah, but they haven't been good enough, obviously, because of the right. positions they've been put in. And by, and by the way, Carl, being backed up, now this, I'm biased because I'm a running back. Yeah. Like when it was first and 10 on the three yard line, I loved that situation. Put put a wide out, two wide outs, give me a full sure. back, and let's go downhill, and maybe I crease one and can tie. You know, now it's Derrick Henry, but yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time it was. We're, uh, we're talking, yeah, we're talking Dallas, Tiki Dallas. Barber here. Exactly. Like, can I can I go the distance, right? But the Tiki, fact that we're, they we're talking try, Tiki Barber. But Saquon can do that, right? Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, but they don't even listen. If 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 the the depth of their play calling is to just slam it in the line of scrimmage with a victory <laughs> formation. Not even you had hope there. No, not, Listen, not at all. Not at all. I wouldn't so, even want to be on the field. I mean, right. I, <laughs> so I was like, you don't so care about it, me, coach. If you're going to do the no, victory formation and let the quarterback sneak just, it, I'm, I might as well he's going to slide off and run 50 <laughs> I, yards. I, I, no. I might as well the go thing in the is, locker room. Give me, give me something that resembles effort, right? Like, I got what you were saying. I, I got what you're thinking, coach. We're going to punt it, let our defense play, try to play the field position game. Yeah. But don't give the optics yeah. of yes. that. Yep. Right? Or so you run a jet sweep into an unblocked defender. Ugh. I knew they were going to do that. I knew they but were going to do thing. that, Carl. I could see it. Right before the timeout, they ran it, and then they came back after. So they had already previewed it. That's right. Right? So I'm looking. 
And I'm saying, do you not see, like, they got you outnumbered right where you want to run the ball? Uh-huh. There's no there's no chance the defender's going to take the cheese because they've already got it set. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, give me an idea, Goodness. Joe. Show some oversight. Tell Freddie, give me something else. Mm-hmm. This ain't gonna work. Or at least tell the court tell the quarterback, which I think Jake Fromm's capable of looking and counting numbers. Right? <laughs> and we'll give him that much. <laughs> right. If, if you see that, audible to a die. Simple and plain. Well, quarterback like, sneak that. That's not asking a lot. I'd rather you quarterback sneak that than out on the gun yeah, coming out. Exactly. So for me. Joe Judge has to give a defined plan. And you guys talk eight, nine wins. I If you can't give me an offensive coordinator that can put you nine, ten wins on the books next year, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, I think I'm going to con- – well, I know I'm going to consider that a failure because you're so, – I mean, their points are just flying out like Oprah's giving them away in the league. <laughs> hey, and this is you. the only Some team – yeah, this is the only team that just it, it just looks so backed up. Antiquated. Yeah. They look yes. antiquated, man. Hey, yes. We're to Carl Banks, two-time Super Bowl champ, the Carl Banks Report, of course, here on the Fan Tiki and Tierney. Carl, you guys can talk schematics all day, and obviously you're right. But let me just boil it down from the fans' point of view. You're not allowed to talk tough and coach scared. You're not allowed to do that, Carl. Mm-hmm. You can't do oh, that. You're right. So you're 100 correct. So he's coming back, and okay, we're gonna have to make amends with that, and and you know, hopefully he reverses this, and hopefully things get good again for the Giants and the fans. But since we are now moving forward with Joe Judge, in my opinion, we need to hear and a meaningful response. State of the Giants from John Mara, and don't tell me he's reticent to do it. It's not his personality. He's not, find the way. To communicate with the Giant fans and let them know, one, unacceptable, two, we promise, we vow that we will fix this. He has to do it. So the state of the Giants, everybody knows what it is. I mean, he's stating the obvious. Mm -hmm. Let him get a general manager in place, get a plan, uh, let them talk about a vision from personnel that translates to the field. The general man, see, everybody's worried about marrying a general manager with a coach. Your general manager got a hell of a lot to do before worrying about a coach. Getting the personnel right on this team has been bad for a long time, right? Yeah. Um, getting that, getting a salary cap so that your coach can have actually actually have some players. They're in salary cap hell. So I think the, the least of the concerns, if you're a general manager and you're considering taking the Giants, is Joe Judge. Your concerns are we got no money mm. and I got to redo a staff. That is the biggest concern. That may be the biggest deterrent for some general managers. It's just trying to figure out how to fix a salary cap and get players or retain players that you you think are part of your future. And uh, Sean O'Hara said it best. The Giants will need a middle class. Yeah, They can't just go pay high price free agents and get these top draft choices. Well, They've got to have a guy in the middle. Yeah, those, Carl, those Carl, uh, let guys. me ask you this. So the way you lay out what the general manager has to do, do you believe Kevin Abrams is equipped to be able to do that? I don't know. I don't know. I mm-hmm. think, you know, if you look at, and this is no, I, I, I respect all those guys. And I, if, if I spent time with him, I could say definitively yes or no. But here's what I do know. They're in salary cap hell. And he's in there as part of that situation. Yeah. So maybe he can explain to us how. Mm. But what we do know is that their situation, salary cap wise, is where they've got to, you know, they got to shuffle practice squad players without even signing them. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a part of that. Yeah. So I don't know what part of it he is, but he's lumped into that until he can distinguish. Well, that wasn't my that wasn't my area. Yeah. So, I mean that. But then there in lies the issue. Yeah, to Carl. You thir- know, there, there's no direction. Carl, in 30 seconds, because we got to bounce over against the against the hour. Next year, do you believe the Giants potentially can have positivity, or is it going to be I another do. year of negativity? No, I they 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 will have positive positivity next year. They have no choice. Yeah. Atrophy and apathy. Can't allow it.
Well, there is a choice. It could not work, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the positivity on your end. Not that it's blind optimism. Trust me, you've been on point like Tiki, critical, critical fairly critical for sure, uh, objective, but it, it's a mess, and we all hope it gets better, and we will see yeah. uh, what the next couple of months bring. But uh, I, I Dove, is this it for the Carl Banks report? Carl, we hardly knew you, man. <laughs> Two of these. Well, we I, well I'm glad I got you. I was the first. Well, I'm I'm glad I got you guys and got the opportunities once you came out of orbit. You know, you guys were just <laughs> floating around there, yeah. so you you landed and allowed me to come here and be a part of this. Yeah, you know, the inaugural love. week. That's we right. we floated around aimlessly for nine years. We don't disagree yeah. with that. We'll talk to you soon, though, buddy. We we don't need the All Carl right, Banks report. Work, yeah. yeah, we don't need the report to get you on the show. Thanks a lot, You're buddy. Right. Are you going to Johnny's game Thursday? Uh, I'm, uh, well, against Villanova, Wednesday against Villanova. I'm not Wednesday, doing, right. no, I'm doing the Georgetown game, but I'm not doing the Wednesday game. All right, but I'll be I'm going to go to Wednesday game. You All going? Right. I'm going. Yeah. Nice, man. All right, well, get me that jacket right. for my son that I asked you about already. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah, you know? I'm sure you are. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, Carl. Yeah, every, All right, thank yeah, you, guys. You got it, buddy. Two-time champ. Carl Banks, this is awesome. 